Welcome back trainers. So we have some fantastic news coming in. Finally, some confirmation from Niantic about Pokemon in Gen 4 that are going to be evolving from previous generations like Gen 1 and 2, like right on to Rhyperior or Magmar to Magmortar or Electabuzz to Electivire. It's great. Finally, confirmation through the newsletter. We're going to go over to the GoHub in just a minute to look at their article. I will be leaving a link for you to completely check out their whole uh, description and their predictions on what they think about the situation and we also received a very funny trailer today regarding a pokemon movie which is quite exciting to be honest i'll put up some images here it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely gonna go see it obviously uh day one for sure and uh ryan reynolds is doing the pikachu voice so <laughs> it's uh pretty interesting to see what we have going on here uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, the Charizard they had in that fight scene, uh, the Jigglypuff, they remind me of the, kind of like the creepy art that people make, the realistic looking Pokemon. Uh, in a way, it's just kind of weird to see them like that. Uh, but I'm not complaining. You know, the next step is a real Pokemon movie like this. That is what people really want. Could you imagine a movie about uh, red and blue or, I don't know, whatever two characters you want to do maybe two new ones that we've never even heard about but i would thoroughly enjoy a movie about red uh going through kanto and uh you know doing the whole adventure and then team rocket would have a major plot in that because you know how you have to have your villain in the movies so team rocket will be playing a major role and i'm not talking about the clumsy annoying uh, duo <laughs> i'm talking about some real team rocket uh, thugs in the movie now that would be amazing and Giovanni would have to be played by an amazing actor Ooh -wee, I could just imagine now let's check out the news that you came here to see now We are over here on the go hub and like I said I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out yourself This is the newsletter that went out to trainers and I better turn mine on. I don't know why I have it off <laughs> All right, so let's see what they have to say here. Oh that some Pokemon that you may already have in your Pokedex will be able to evolve in ways they couldn't before now that Pokemon originally discovered in the Sinnoh region are starting to appear in Pokemon Go, while not all of these evolutions are currently available, start saving your candy as you'll be able to evolve your Pokemon once you have the chance. Once you have the chance, that's the key. That's basically meaning whenever they release it, you'll be able to immediately evolve them. Do we need an evolution item? I mean, because these Pokemon require those. Is there going to be some sort of new mechanic that we've been seeing that is going to be uh, pushing towards a one evolution item that is going to work for all of these Pokemon. We'll have to see. They made no mention of that, uh, but I'm going to assume they're going to go along the same route as the other evolutions. I don't understand why they would replace all of their items with just one. The only reason I could see them doing that is to simplify it, obviously, because there is a bunch of these new items and you're going to have a ton of them in your bag. I mean, over time. It's not like you can just delete them, right? It's no big deal. But still, there's going to be a whole lot of items. I think they're just trying to narrow it down to make it easier for trainers to just evolve them instead of waiting months upon end, possibly, to finally get them out of the Pokestops or gym or wherever. Because I remember when they first released the Gen 2, those evolution items, it took me a minute to get Steelix. It's a real long time. And when I finally got it, I was happy and everything. Uh, it's not a big deal anymore because I have plenty of evolution items I uh, just have to get out there and grind so we could possibly see that whole evolution event remember that was supposedly leaked um, and I guess it was a uh, false but this seems pretty much along those lines but I guess you can say anytime they're about to release these gen 4 uh, evolutions that are coming from other generations uh, you can just call it an evolutionary event because I mean yeah anyways so there you have it trainers pretty exciting stuff can't wait to see when this is going to happen if i had to take a guess i i mean i i don't really want to but let's say in the next week <laughs> so look forward to that um but don't put a date on it i know in that video that i said oh gen 4 uh images are leaked again and i said it could be coming in a few days after the taiwan event uh, obviously it didn't come in we got other gen 4 pokemon but not those uh, the evolution pokemon all right, so there you have it, trainers. Pretty good stuff. Can't wait to see what is going to be coming in the future. We are getting Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee soon. Yes, that is coming out. And if you're wondering, am I going to be streaming that? Yes, but not right away. Uh, I wouldn't say streaming. I'm just going to be uploading videos. 
yes, I'm going to. It's not going to be right away. So you're going to have plenty of other people to watch the beginning of the gameplay. So it's going to be a while. I still need to get my laptop and uh, my capture card. So it shouldn't be too much longer. I'd say once it's released, give me about until December, maybe 10th, the latest. It shouldn't even take that long. I'd probably say like December 1st-ish. That's when you're going to expect me to start uploading uh, different style videos. And I will be getting a laptop, so my editing might be different. I might be able to start going into more depth and details uh, on my videos with more, I don't know, production value. <laughs> All right, trainers. All right, now it is time to collect my Adventure Sync rewards. I did walk 59.6 kilometers. I hatched 139 eggs. I earned 14 candies and steps you can see all uh, the pokeballs ow i can't see uh two rare candies right off the bat that was pretty cool and there's another one so that's three love those pokeballs the great balls are man whatever i'm starting to kind of toss those because the grind is starting to get a little intense and i don't have time to use those unless i am the passenger so uh, you can see five ultra balls three rare candies 10 great balls and 20 pokeballs and then 500 stardust so not a bad reward and yesterday, I was driving around the Secret League, and we had a blast. The weather was absolutely horrifying, but we still had a good time. They caught their Pachirishus. We went out to this kind of secluded place called Kincaid here in Anchorage, and it was raining, so the chances of finding the Pachirishus were higher because of the uh, rain, right? And it's electric type. There was snow on the ground, ice, slush. It was intense, and uh, they ran to it over in the woods, to get this Pachirishu over here and it was super amazing. It was really happy because it was a good experience to have in Alaska to get a little wet, get a little dirty and find that regional over here, you know? So yeah, I just want to say thank you to the Secret League for coming up here. Really appreciate it. Really nice guys. Um, took them around to my grind spots, literally into my neighborhood as well. Uh, just showing them around and uh, just checking out the town. It's just unfortunate in a way because the weather was just so horrific. But in a way, I'm happy the weather was like that so they were able to come to Alaska and experience the weather like that just so they know and have a little taste as to what is going on over here. Uh, yeah, it was insane. So it snowed pretty hard one night and then the next day, the snow was still on the ground and everything was pretty warm, it was warming up, but it had slush and it was just horrible driving conditions visibility wise, you know, rain splashing on your car. There was a point where I was driving and uh, they weren't with me in the car, but somebody splashed my windshield and I couldn't see for about, I don't know, seven seconds, which is pretty horrifying considering when you're going like, I don't know, 45 miles an hour and you can't see, especially with slush everywhere. But uh, yeah, welcome to Alaska where you're gonna have to earn those catches for sure. Okay, so we're going to look at my Stardust as well as the Pokemon that are going to be evolving in Gen 4 from previous generations. I know we've looked at this before, but there is new people coming in every day. And I also want to talk about something else as to which ones we may possibly see. So I have them in order by number, and these are going to be every single Pokemon that are going to be evolving in Gen 4 from previous generations. I have them all tagged up here, okay? So I didn't forget the ride on this time. Don't worry. There it is. Completely maxed out. 98%. Beautiful. Mwah! Can't wait for that. So we have uh, Magneton right here, Lickitung, Rhydon, Electabuzz, Magmar, and then Eevee, right? Those are all from Gen 1. Now, do you think we're going to be seeing those ones entering first? This was actually mentioned in the GoHub article. Uh, they could drop those ones first. Yeah, that would make sense to bring those in. Um, I'm hoping for Porygon as well. I mean, you have that too that's another one but it's porygon 2 you know it's in gen 2 so technically not gen 1 but uh, we could see that as well um, i'm hoping for the one that i want the most it's going to be you guys know yon mega mm, but i don't know if they're going to roll that one out quite yet also um not my pottery shoot team there <laughs> uh we have uh Marcro. this is a completely maxed out uh 98 so i'm really looking forward to haunch crow as well we'll see how that works uh eevee glaceon and leafeon look great and i'm somewhat excited for them there's other ones that i'm just uh waiting for uh, more than that togekiss that's another one i'm extremely excited to see because i am a big fan of that pokemon i love the design and i used it in the main series games helped me win many tournaments good times back when it was flying and normal not flying and fairy because i had hustle on it which is going to increase my attack 
and uh, extreme speed with choice band. It, it was just OP, OP all day. <laughs> extreme speed made people so upset. Anyways, uh, enough about that. I also have my routes uh, for Glade. Lucky, I have better mails. This is just a lucky one. It's going to obviously cost me less. So now let's go ahead and look at that Stardust. You've probably been looking at it. Uh, it did go down slightly. I would have had more, but I powered up my uh, Float Soul and also my Lucario. So yeah, I would probably have been around 10,200,000. And uh, keep in mind also, my Stardust grind hasn't been so hard. I haven't been hitting it up really hard. We've been pretty busy lately uh, meeting up with people and just uh, kind of exhausted from the whole experience. It wasn't like a big, huge meetup or anything, but yeah, you know how it goes. So I'll get on that for the next couple of days or we have like another day for this event. So better get out there and get that Stardust before it's over, folks. And with that said, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this news video and I'm excited for that Pikachu detective movie and uh, these Gen 4 evolutions. When can they happen? Who knows, trainers? But with that said, I'll be catching you all next time.